This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 28th, 2025. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun the last 48 hours, active outgoing regions, and as well, incoming. But right now, we have a very quiet earth-facing disk, some plasma filaments stretching from the surface, and that is all. Some activity that is turning into view. Having a look here at the last two days incoming. We do have some active sunspot regions turning into view. And as well, active sunspot regions turning out. And all equatorial at that. Right now we have no earth-facing sunspots. Earth-facing quiet has begun. But we do have a pretty intense coronal hole. Actually, two of them. One in the northern hemisphere, one in the southern hemisphere. Earth facing right now and expecting the increase in the solar winds. Little diagram top left there of our magnetic field of the sun during a coronal hole event. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to strike that like most recent solar flare was an M-class solar flare outgoing and it was equatorial. Amazing here. Just another light of our sun. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. And I'm hoping that you enjoy the daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected. And our solar winds are coming in at 317 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing a few spikes, C-class, and as well one minor M-class solar flare throughout the day today. Solar proton flux is low, but quite static. Geomagnetic activity is rising, and that is ahead of this expected coronal hole wind stream. Now, Space Weather Prediction Center has updated, updated their spiral yet again. Minor glancing blow from a CME on the 31st. And then that dark red, all coming from the center yellow disk, which is our sun. That is the coronal hole wind stream. We will see some pretty intense speeds by the looks of this coronal hole. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral still only showing outgoing CME. Refresh that today and not much has changed. The M-class solar flare again was outgoing and minor. But we are expecting this coronal hole wind stream. Tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. More so tonight. But still pretty diminished. Not too much to talk about. Geospace magnetosphere showing the magnetic field of our planet when it's being smashed by right here average solar winds of 300 kilometers per second right hand side being the pressure left hand wind speeds now this will look different over the next 24 to 36 hours as we are impacted by the coronal hole Lasco 3 and again no new CMEs to report no major solar events to report as both of the M and strong C-class solar flares were equatorial and turning away or just cresting into view and not Earth-facing. Let's look at the last two days. Let's go. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've seen some deep ones. Yet another one, Mariana's Trench. It's about a 400-kilometer depth and two pretty deep earthquakes today. Lavuka, Fiji, 572. So that's about six really deep earthquakes, over 550 kilometer depth through the region. Over the last few days, 5.8 earthquake, Kermadec Trench as well. 5.1 New Zealand and rare earthquake here, northwest, northwest of New Zealand, 4.9. Kermadec Trench is about to pop. Considering all the activity and the deep earthquakes we've seen, I'm expecting a big earthquake over the next 24 hours. So stay aware and prepared. Gorontolo, Indonesia, seeing the 5.5. 5. 
that trench there, 300 kilometer depth, Kuka, China, Tibetan Plateau, African Plate still awash, Ethiopia, and as well, South Indian Ocean, 4.6. South America, seeing some activity come back to the region after being quiet for quite some time, but notable earthquake there, Mountain Columbia. Across the United States, no major swarms to talk about and no real rare or peculiar earthquakes to report. A couple earthquakes here, still at Kilauea, as we will look at infrared imagery yet again, as I showed it last night, and it was looking like the first couple images there. There were some weak spots in the northern part of the caldera, and then eventually it broke through on the weak side, north side, right-hand side visual there. So, yet again, lava has completely covered the caldera of Kilauea Volcano, which is a massive volcano in Hawaii and one of the most active on the planet. As you can see here, this caldera is filling up yet again. And we watched that depress back in 2011, 2020. So stay prepped, my Hawaiian friends and family, as I don't think it's done yet. We're going to see a pretty big eruption haven't seen a really big one there since 2018. Now let's have a browse for the last seven days for shakers and movers across this planet, focusing on all of the deep activity across the world, which are the elevated rings, showing the depth. Still way too quiet, Central America. Peculiar activity, African plate moving up into the Indian plate. And as well, most recently, increasing seismicity at the Kermadec Trench and all around the Australian Plate. Stay prepped, my friends and family. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide as I will keep you updated as quick and as often as I can. Now let's have a look at air quality forecast brought to you by, of course, active interrupting volcanoes, big plumes coming out of Mexico, Hawaii, the major players, and as well, parts of Japan. Kamchatka has been pretty quiet for a couple weeks. Hasn't, haven't really seen any big plumes. Big plume coming out of the Congo region yet again. At the active and erupting Nirigongo and Nirigera. Overlooking South America. Notable plumes moving across the Atlantic Ocean and as well off the coast of Africa. Mind you, a lot of that coming off of the coast of Africa is dust from major dust storms. Now let's have a look at world weather as we are focusing on the wind gusts over the next little bit. We've got some intense systems developing across the northern Atlantic. Very windy and cold conditions and a roller coaster event for most of North America over the next little bit. But eventually, these low pressure systems are going to be grinding in from the Pacific Ocean as the high, high pressure ridge gets smashed by some strong lows coming in the Pacific. Overlooking Australia and our Southern Hemisphere, intense extreme weather event that will be unfolding. Over the next seven days, these are forecast models right up until February 6th. So right around the second into the third, watch for a very strong low to literally race straight across the Northern Territory of Australia as a cyclone, most likely when it makes landfall. So please, heads up, my friends down under. We've got earthquakes down under. And we've got extreme weather, and look at the size of this beast of a low-pressure system spinning in the southern hemisphere. Boy, oh boy. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide, and thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. We almost hit a 1,000 likes again in that last night's video. Much love, everybody. Appreciate the love and support to the channel. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your daily due.